Hey Closet Collabers, it's Zach, and if you're watching me, it must be Wednesday! This week's topic is long distance relationships. Uh, I'm gonna make it quick because I have to rush off today. So, have you ever had one, a long distance relationship? Yes, I have. It's my current relationship, actually. Um, Matt and I had a long distance relationship for about a year and a half. Came about because I graduated from college, he had a, about a year and a half left to go, like at the time we were really like on the verge like we were still dating and I said I want to go to the west coast and maybe it won't work out and maybe it will but if I stay you know on the east coast because of relationship like could I live with myself um if it you know the relationship hadn't worked out then I wouldn't have gone to the west coast and seen what it was like so we made it work how did we handle it okay so this is the big big thing about long distance relationships, how do you handle one? And there's been great advice from the, um, the collabers earlier this week. Jackie, I think you were right on about saying that, um, you know, don't forget your friends. Like friends are really important. You don't want to like cut them out of your life. I think actually that helps you a lot more is like getting involved with your friends. It certainly helped me. I, um, got involved with people out here to try to make friends because I was new, uh, to this town. And that really distracted me a lot from, like, missing Matt. Um, and he did the same thing. He was, you know, stayed involved with his friends and work and stuff as well. Carly, like, did you wiki LDRs? Because, like, you sounded like an encyclopedia. I thought it was great. All your advice was awesome. Like, you know, just spot on. Everything people were saying about making the time, phone calls, Skyping, all that stuff so important. The little things, so important. Um, and setting rules. Definitely gotta set the rules. Um, but, you know, be realistic. I mean, look at what you, what you need in a relationship and, um, you know, t uh, set those, set those ground rules ahead of time because that's really going to be letting you know. So for, in Matt and my case, we ha like we were just like getting into the serious stage but like i mean it was literally like i think we moved away before i moved away before we got like super serious we we had been dating technically and like i'm all for you know dating means dating it's like you can date someone here and date someone there i i wasn't you know we weren't at the time but um you know we brought it up do we want to see other people while we're um you know, away, and neither of us wanted to, so that was our rules. Some people may think it's okay. You know, if that works for you, then great. Then you're not, you know, stepping over boundaries. You're, you know, it's being accepted that you're going to see other people, but that you still care about each other, and if in the future that you, you uh, come together again, so be it. We really wanted to come together again, and whether that meant Matt moving out west or me moving back east, we knew that we were going to handle it. Um, or that's where we wanted to go towards. Um, the whole, like, you know, sex thing part of it, that's tough. It's really hard. And um, I know for Matt and I, we did a little, like, photo shoot thing for each other and, like, sent, you know, dirty pictures, um, which helped us. Um, but definitely know your boundaries, set your bounds ahead of time. Uh, like, personally, for me, I totally feel comfortable, like, flirting. Like, I'm a flirty person. And, um, so I know that I could, like, go to a club or go out with friends or out here or something while he was back there. And I could flirt with someone or dance with them on the dance floor. And nothing's gonna happen. I'm not inviting them home. They're not inviting me home. Uh, and that's fine. Like, I have Matt there, you know, I can t tell him about going out or whatever. Um, but, like, Matt didn't feel that way, so he knew he couldn't do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, but, you know, then we had set the ground rules that, you know, we are going to work towards being with each other, so we're not going to be dating anyone else. But that you gotta, you know, you gotta figure that out for yourself. Can you flirt with someone and not have it be like anything serious? I don't know. Uh, the big thing is don't hide anything. Like if you know, uh, maybe if you do slip up or something, like you have to tell the person. You know, be ready for uh, something to happen because I think probably more often than not, like 
the rules that you set in the beginning are going to be broken. Like, what if someone does you have an indiscretion and cheat or whatever? Are Can you handle that? Like, you know, if they're truly sorry about it, um, are, do they get another chance? I don't know. That's something that you have to decide for yourself. Um, but I would, you know, I would keep that in mind, definitely. And then the last question on the thing was, do you believe you can meet the right person at the wrong time? I think everyone comes into your life, like, at a specific time for a specific reason. Like, if you really want it to work, you're going to make it work. So I don't believe there's, like, a right person, wrong time. It's a how much do you want to commit to it. So long distance relationships, not so fun. Um, but... They, they can, I totally think that they can work out because I'm in one that worked out. But, so that's been your Wednesday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! Oh, so here are some pictures that I forgot to post on my personal channel from Halloween. Uh, the first one is of Matt and I as a mermaid and a pirate. And the second one is my favorite costumes of the night. James and Topher as a baby girl giraffe and She-Ra. Oh my god, it was so fun. Bye.